we are here at this time. We bid you greetings and thank you very much for the opportunity of this interaction today. I am Adronis of Sirius, sending love, appreciation, and gratitude to all who are tuning in to this broadcast through your internet collective consciousness. We will elaborate on the discussion as it pertains to your recent discovery of what you may term as quantum entanglement or quantum teleportation. Now, basically, what has been achieved is an idea that represents nonlinear thinking. This is eventually going to be part of your entire civilization, somewhere around the time of about 2030s, around that time. You will understand that around that time of 2030s, where it is in around the middle point, as it would relate to the idea of the span of renewal, that more of you are now functioning together into the quantum view, the quantum field, that really the idea of the technology that you have now would be no more looked at as an archaic device, no more different than how you would look at technology back in your 1960s, 1970s, and seeing that they are quite retro. Basically, your smartphone that you have in your hand is an archaic piece of technology. It is linear branded. Where you are going around the times of 2030, or around that particular decade, is moving more into quantum understanding. This will also lead into the possibility as it represents portal technology. This will also lead more so into the idea of how the aspects of your modern physics will also be labeled as archaic because it is basically your quantum science that is going to be more so of the norm as it relates to where you're going in regards to what your country of China has been able to achieve. Well, Adronis, is it true that this was indeed teleportation? Indeed it was. This is teleportation. We understand there may be arguments coming up throughout your populace right now saying, no, this was not teleportation, this was something else. This was teleportation. The idea to where you have a photon existing within a particular state of variable, therefore changing its own signature and moving itself into an instantaneous state of variable is the aspect of teleportation. That is how it functions. Basically, what you are attempting to do is move past the illusion of location and the illusion as it represents time. So this is why we say space and time are an illusion. Space itself simply is that of a measurement. Time itself is simply that of a temporal measurement. When you are able to understand that each of these particular aspects, these variables, have signatures assigned, you will be able to develop sophisticated technology that basically runs similar to that of a camera lens. What you are basically doing is creating photonic cameras. And that these photonic cameras basically have such a resolution and such a quality that they are actually able to take snapshots of every single photon existing within your body. The aspect of certain technologies will utilize the, the degree of frequencies where these photons are being converged into an aspect of a single unit. This single unit, therefore, can transport itself variably based upon the coordination of the particular variable in question that you would understand as location and time. What you will also understand is that this is not only the means of teleportation, but this is also the beginning phases of time travel, as you understand it as well, too. Because once your scientists really realize that this is not just a property as it pertains to a, shall we say, unfixated state pertaining to that of location, but also variably connected together with the property and frequency of time. You can actually utilize this aspect of quantum entanglement to move into different timelines, as it also rel relates to, shall we say, different space. But again, these are just conveniences to giving you the idea as it pertains to space and time calculation in that way. So yes, basically in regards to how teleportation will work, is being able to condense, to compress, to confine the aspect of all photons to create together a field of a single unit. And that that particular unit is therefore being assigned to a signature of another photon, yet they are in relationship. 
So basically every photon that exists within your reality contains a specific signature. When that photon representing a unit identifies itself as an identicalness to that signature, that signature therefore becomes propagated within that point of space time. That represents the idea of what you would know as teleportation because the signature that represents the variables of your space-time nexus of where you exist right now is no longer your property. The signature changes on a quantum level. Therefore, as it changes on a quantum level, the alignment of the signature therefore brands itself into the appropriate signature specified to moving yourself or what appears to be like you are moving yourself into a different space-time nexus. And this would basically represent the idea, for example, being in the west coast of your United States to suddenly functioning in the area of Australia, for example. Simply because you have chosen a particular fixated point that represents a quantum signature, a photonic degree of identicalness between your unit of a collection of photons that have been compressed over into the aspect of the identicalness to that signature, therefore propagating that aspect into one. Therefore, it is already one. There really is no separation. It's just the idea of branding, the idea of quantum signatures, to identify themselves on a state of identicalness so that they can therefore merge together and therefore you are moving into one particular point of space-time nexi to another. That is generally how it will work. So it will involve the nature of creating very sophisticated, detailed photonic cameras. That is what will be your degree of what you would know as teleportation. Very similar to your television show that you know as Star Trek. Although not really utilizing the idea of cameras, but more so looking into the idea of what you would know as buffers, sequences in that sense. But again, it all represents the idea of a certain principle. The idea is that you contain an enormous amount of photons as you already know. And that you are basically attempting to have a technology that can snapshot all of those particular photons on a great resolution level as well as in that sense being able to identify all of the photonic arrangement that represents your body mass as a unit that is therefore being compressed it is being conjuncted into the idea of a quantum entanglement between that area that you are looking to teleport to therefore the signature becomes identical instantly you are at that new location from what you would understand. But really, in the advancement past space and time, you're not even really moving. It's just the idea that you are now truly in this perspective, assigned to this variable at the exact time, space, location, in that way of convenience. So, we hope this makes sense to you. And basically, what has happened through China's own work is the beginning stages of teleportation, the beginning stages of what could eventually be quantum time travel and the idea of advanced quantum computing data collection that will, in time, become much more popularized upon your planet, again, more so around the 2030s, give or take around that time. So we thank you for the opportunity of this interaction. I am Adronis of Sirius, and we now return to the conduit. We'll speak to you again, as now is forever, and all is one. Goodbye for now.